Hello everybody, Anton here from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my Special United Kingdom playthrough uh, during this, uh, what essentially is my charity fundraising week. Um, so, if you haven't donated yet, then please, it would be greatly appreciated anything you can donate. Um, it would be greatly appreciated by both me and the charity, of course. Um, so if you haven't, then please do, if you can. Um, but um, yes, let's get uh, back into this. So last episode, Third International is gone now. We have a pretty good holding in France. Um, and I feel like just because Germany will get very, very strong very, very quickly, we're going to be getting ourselves geared up and ready to go to war. Now, I was thinking of actually evading the Netherlands. Um, but I feel like that might just be a little bit ridiculous. Um, Anyways, we're going to be working towards the Empire Act as well today. I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, Five Eyes Agreement. And yeah, we get that uh, done. So I can't remember exactly what that does. Um, I don't really remember much from the UK, but it's great. It's so good. Um, so I was actually considering leaving Germany alone, but I was like, Germany gets really strong really quickly because Mexico is actually a war with all the Americas now. Um, so I was thinking we get over there and we help the Pacific states defeat the American Union state and defeat Mexico, but I'm going to divert my attention to the German Empire. But at the same time, I was hoping that the Russians were going to come for the Germans soon. But the only issue is they're still fighting the J Japanese. So we are going to try and take them. Take them them. They, they aren't that strong. Well, their allies aren't that strong. It is literally just the Germans. Oh, right. That's going to cause issues for everybody involved in that war now because Germany's going to want the Ukraine back, but they're not going to be able to get them. Okay, we are a lot of medium tanks short. A lot of medium tanks. This tungsten's a problem, but luckily Portugal is our ally. So we can go ahead and just get that all from them. Right, motorized divisions, they're going to be uh, get the tanks added to them once they actually are deployed, which we just thought, got them now. Right, so the tanks are actually going to go into a thing of their own. Because they're going to just... Um, do we actually even have a panzer guy? We do! Percy! They're going to be doing their own thing, the infantry is going to be doing their own thing. Short of equipment. What the hell? We were fine a second ago. We're losing so many right now. We're not even exercising. Right, the uh, Five Eyes Agreement. The United Kingdom works to restore the Empire to glory. One of the plans is assembled sorry, in White, uh, Whitehall is proposals for Five Eyes program. This program will focus on the cooperation between the intelligence agencies of Canada, the West Indies Federation, the United Kingdom, the Union, India, and Australasia. Such a program would help prevent anything like 1925 from happening again. Semper Octuous? Occultus? Occultus? But decryption and encryption is both up by one. Oh yes! I forgot! We're actually in South Africa. And we're actually justifying on them. I completely, completely forgot about that. Uh, I'll be honest. But we are over here. Actually, we're not all over here. Apparently, oh no, we are all over here. Good, there's 24 divisions, plus we want the Portuguese to help us out. Obviously, this is going to be a front we'll have. Um, could maybe try and take the uh, Cairo pack beforehand. Fuel is full, but it's only 143k. Ooh. Right, we need to get some more synthetic refineries in this place. More cities as well, actually. 15 is not a lot. Uh, we do still have some of the tree. What are, what's, what's this doing to us right now? Because we're good. Plus 10. Yeah, we could do resolving that. Germans are an extensive conscription. So am I. They have a lot more manpower available than us. That's for sure. How are the um, French doing now? Okay, 65 divisions. That's not too bad. Germany looks like they've got the majority. Yeah, Germany's restored that. That's a bit of a shame. 
really want to aid, aid the Pacific states, though. I really do. Oh, Saudi Arabia's been invaded. Well, seen a revolt, rather. That's such an eyesore. Right, we've done that. We'll propose the Sterling area for the members of the Entente. We'll implement imperial preference and will favour trade with the British dominions of other countries. Yeah, why not? How strong is Spain at this point? Six divisions. Yeah, they're going to take some time to recover from that. I'm still holding out for a potential conflict between these two. Which will obviously lead to the conflict with the Austrians having to deal with the Germans. Which will stretch the Germans thin. That is a big border they have with the Austrian faction. A big border for the Austrians to cover. Hopefully in the kerfuffle we can at least push to Verdun. Or maybe take out Belgium. I'm hoping Russia's going to go for them very soon as well. And I really need to go ahead and try and get the uh, South Africans to join us. Hmm. Yeah, we cannot do that. And we can, that means we can't do that as well. So we need that to actually happen. Don't know how far away we are for this. Ten days. That's good. Right, so we're working on both of those. Do we want to upgrade artillery right now? I think we do. Good old preference is done. Let's go ahead and expand the rack. And so obviously those volunteers are going to disappear. Instantly. Here we go. Hello, South Africa! We're here to kill you. You're doing okay at holding us right now, but we do have more divisions than you over here, so hopefully, once we get through the initial uh, defensive line that they have, then we'll be fine. Yeah, you can have that for now. Just because I'm hoping, hoping once they take control, they'll be able to join the side of the Entente. Our volunteer forces have arrived back home. That is fantastic. You can go straight back onto him. So we're technically only needing our four divisions. So now we've got, well, we've got a batch of four just chilling. But obviously, I do want to get another batch of twenty. Oh, anyways, so what we'll do is we shall get another twenty. Oh, and we'll probably leave it at that. So the tanks can just come ahead and jump onto him. Right, that's going fine. Oh, we're gun short. We're 45,000 gun short. Well, it's fine. We need to expand our army quickly, so... We're still being the South Africans, but obviously this is a civil war, so they are crippled. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-two now. Can we get some more divisions over here, please? Right, we're going to continue working on some thing refineries just because I want to just... Get some of them out so much just my own. That'd be quite nice. Uh, let's uh, lead uh, Isaac, or ISAC. We're already in the council, I thought. I thought we were in that council. But uh, Pretoria's fallen, so Bloom 15 is, I don't know if I said that right, but that, that is now the capital. We only lost 13,000, which is quite good. Oh gosh, the Dominionists won. End of the fourth boar war. Do you know what? This will actually bypass, surely. Um, oh no. Wait. Oh no. Oh gosh. He won. I don't want. Um, well, that's awkward. The guys we wanted to win have now won. And now I'm at war with them. Follow Rio de Janeiro. Oh, yes, of course Argentina is going to basically balkanize the whole of Brazil once again. If 
400 days, 166 days. That's fine. Right, we're now leading the ISAC. We will begin an annual set of naval exercises improve the British Navy and the navies of our dominions. We're really just working on helping our dominions. Which is nice. It's a good thing to be doing. Right, we are very close to finishing them off and puppeting them. So I'm hoping we'll be able to bypass... Bypass these. And also bypass you. And then that means we can just grab both those, grab the Empire Act, and hey ho, Bob's your uncle, finds your aunt. Don't know. Oh, that is there. I was going to say, why are we not pushing in here? But it's that is that we're pushing into. I have to say, the, the rest of the Entente has been a nice wee help during this war. That's for sure. Uh, we've only lost 23k, which is fantastic. Of course, you can see the effects that the lack of guns is having. But um, as soon as Cape Town falls, I think we're uh, we're done here. Joe, I'm actually considering, depending on how far I get through this and how many episodes it actually does take for me to actually complete this. Um, well, I don't know if I'll completely complete this, but I might go over the five episodes and we might actually have some episodes popping up randomly. Naval exercises. We've, I'm just going to pass over that. It's just to do with naval exercises, so nothing... Nothing really that interesting. Um, I think civilian factories is something we really do want to just build. We do have only 44. So, let's go ahead and do that. Right, come on boys, just let's finish this off. Right. We need to get some more fuel storage bits as well. Fuel silos. Build them in the north in Scotland. Right, their whole army is in Cape Town now. So we've got 13 divisions to break. Might be a bit of an ask, but they are going to be surrounded, so hopefully. Oh. Oh, it's flipping in our favour. It's 15 on 15. 17 on 15, we now outnumber them. 14 on 15, some guys are backing out. We'll just get them back on the bandwagon. There we go, that's looking better. 22. Right, back into here. We can definitely go ahead and get you. Come on, that's 29 and 15, come on. I know we're crossing a river. Do they have any factories left? They have two military factories. Alright, so uh, the Imperial War Cabinet. And let's do the last one we need to do right now. We're not going to be able to break that. Can I give our guys a wee minute just to catch their breath? Just recover slightly. I know we still got a massive... Oh gosh. Stop training, guys. Okay, we're not as short of equipment. We should make these guys better. Oh, it's a happened. Wait for it. Oh. Oh, no. Um, that's awkward. I was hoping that was going to... Oh, 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 Denmark's in. German Aust Germany and Austria will not be wanting to do anything right now. Oh, the Austrians are in. The Austri and there goes Germany. Right, it's time. 30 days? Oh, bollocks. I didn't think it was going to be that quick. Right, tanks. Line you up there. 
Holy balls. Well, this is the time to kill them. Can we hurry up and finish this now? Mop it up, mop it up. You guys can just be binned. Come on, guys. We don't have we don't have lots of time left now. Holy hell! We're gonna be going after the Germans. We need to treaty with Egypt. We could do a treaty with Egypt. Oh my gosh, we could get them to join the Entente. That might actually be better than invading them. Oh Ireland! Oh France! Oh Austria! Oh Portugal! Yay Spain! Oh oh. Well, that's fantastic. Oh, thank you. You're now a country. <laughs> well, that's that's sorry the problem. Fantastic. Well, hello, Germany. Would you like to die? Oh, you got your work cut for you now, boy. We are still equipment short. Which is... Well, balls. <laughs> That's why we're short of equipment. What happened to the factories? What land did I have that I gave away? Oh, France's land. We're still fighting down there, which is just fantastic, really. Hey, hey, we're almost gonna cut off some divisions. Gotta be careful though, because we don't have any divisions at home. Um, can we? Can we get? Can we punch through somewhere like here? Is that possible? We only have twenty-two days of fuel. Okay. Okay. It's fine. You're not actually in this war. Oh, that's nice. Who's going to be overtaking me? Right. We'll go ahead and grab you. The Egyptians agree. Yes. Fantastic. We have guaranteed. Egypt. You know, we're democratic. Let's do things peacefully and see if we can do it that way. We've cut the Germans in two. We've failed at keeping them at bay, though. We wish to purchase Singapore. No, we don't. We wish to take Singapore. Why is there a lot of German divisions down in Africa? Austrians, how are you doing manpower? Still their king. That is exactly what we want to be seeing because they are going to end up doing dualism restored, which is going to make them hella thick, which is going to be beneficial for us initially, but not later on because obviously they'll have more manpower. That's good for us right now because we need them to be stronger. Wow. Okay, Germany's taking a hit. Yeah, once we've mopped up this, we're going to start pushing into Metal Africa. Whoa, whoa, who's being aggressive? We, we're not aggressive, we just chill. We stay mellow, we just we just defend. If Germany wants to launch men at us, well, by all means, they're all don't serve now. You know, and Austria's doing bits. Like, we just have to hope that you decide to come on in, and then, then they're screwed. Right, greens. The best place for them to go is, well, to start pushing up this coastline here to uh, the capital. We'll get them on their way. Fuel is just non-existent at this point, and we are losing guns rather than making them. I'm just going to pull those back. Actually, I don't know. More guns, we need more guns. I'm gonna remove, actually. Yeah, let's remove anti-tank from the trucks, the motorized divisions. Just hopefully resolve that. Well, I thought it was. Eleven thousand guns is not a good nice wee shortage to have like. Keep 
trying, I dare you. Maybe we don't want to end the push right now. How are we still losing? Well, we are being attacked, so we are using them. You're pushing real hard on the border like that is for sure. Why are you so concentrated? There is 24 of you. I don't understand that by the by the front. No wonder they're starting to see some more success up here because well it's not strong enough to hold them. For king and country. Hell yeah for king and country. All right, got more tanks going there. Eek, that's all I can say. We lost 200k, which is the most of any of us. It's because they are seeing some success over here. No, don't push back. Don't push back. Just if you get pushed back, guys, just chill. Right, we can go ahead and grab the Empire Act. Right, this is fine. We can hold this, hopefully. Okay. That that isn't a single German division in there. Not make guns yet. It's not good. Don't attack, don't attack. Just chill. Let them push. I feel like you're wasting divisions, France, by not moving them. Where are your divisions? Do you know what? Give me all yours. I want them up here as well. They're terrible. They really are terrible. But it's more divisions. There is so many divisions. I didn't think they had that many. It was zero manpower. No, they've not got that many. Sweden has 85 divisions max. They're scraping the barrel. The Germans are on scraping the barrel. So you know what we just need now? We just need to defend until they're out of bloody manpower. Then what are they going to do? So you know, if we get pushed back, then by all means, well done to them. Yes, that's perfect. Right, that's helped us out. We're in the surplus again. So hopefully we can really start to produce more equipment than we're losing. We are still we're losing 60 a day, but that's because we're gonna be reinforcing. Resupplying some divisions that need it. We better turn that off actually. Hold him just long enough for us to swoop on in, please. Nice. We can stop attacking now. I mean, it would be looking great right now. Because they are really stuck. I'm not even pushing. Sorry, if we get pushed back, it's going to be a river, so... Just push it, don't push. I 
Oh, they're actually making pushes. Good. Excellent. Dualism restored. The Austrian Empire is going to be thick. Oh, but Italy done terrible. No, don't push. Don't push. How many times do I have to say? Just sit and defend. No, not interested. <laughs> I'm sorry, through the Ukraine. Oh, right. I was going to say, I was like, through the Ukraine? I'm not going to upgrade anything. We're just going to leave it as it is. Just going to grab you. Not updating equipment until this is over now. The Imperial Conference of 1942. This year's Imperial Conference is going to be one of the most important ever. For it is at this gathering of representatives from all of our dominions that we shall propose the creation of an Imperial Federation. We do have the Imperial Federation in this. Held in London, this will surely be one of the largest, most grand conferences yet assembled. Hell yet yeah, will be. And you know what? It's time that we deal with this bloody economy and also with the military thing that's affecting us. That's really causing too much difficulties for us. I actually want you to move and cover, cover the tanks, please. Because they have zero fuel, so they're not looking so great. Thank you. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, we are on war. Um, let me exports. Let's grab you. Is our navy out somewhere? Get the port, please. Get the port and chill there. No, don't attack. Don't attack. Just chill, chill, and chill. Now it's the Imperial Federation. Right. On the second day of the conference, we unveil the plans of Imperial Federation. The Federation has long been championed by pan-British members throughout the Empire as a way of the British to share the cost of Imperial defence with the Empire, way of the Dominions to increase their own influence. Each country would have their own number of Imperial Parliament members that would meet at the Imperial Parliament. There would be a rotating legislature going to the capital city every two years to help spread the costs of maintaining the Empire. Through, uh, though London, of course, would remain the paramount city in the Federation. Please, 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 please vote in favour of it. Please, if there's anything you, my puppets need to do, and my guys, please say yes. Because if so, there's 71 divisions coming in here. There's nobody to deal with over there. We're just going to have to push this way. India is... What the hell is happening to India? India we're going to have to deal with. They have 114 divisions. How are you not being able to quell that? Where the feck are they all? Oh, come on, Austria. I'm rooting for you boys. I really am. I'm just in this war to help by sitting on a border. You've got this, boys. Ah, faith. Oh, gosh. The Empire Act. Today is the day that shall go down in history. All the delegates of the conference agreed on implementing the creation of the new Imperial Federation. An already an act of parliament has been created to put into effect. The Empire struggled and suffered setbacks, but now it sees itself greater. And stronger than ever. God save the king. Boom. What happens? Nothing. <laughs> wow. Anti anticlimactic. Denmark is landing Greenland. That was very anticlimactic. Oh. Well, I'm a bit disappointed by that, I will be honest. That was just a waste of time. Seriously, I can't believe that. Can't believe that. Anyways, we're still doing good, so. Oh! Oh, Japan really is in trouble now. You can ship my ships and everything as much as you want. See, that's going down. Do 
Germany's barely even close to capitulating. Um, still in zero man port, so those divisions are really going to start bringing all the stuff, so... We just wait for the time, the right time, and we push. Is there any chance we can actually... Oh, 17 divisions! Why the... Why is there 17 divisions? The German faction is actually insane. Where have you been? Yeah, I'm really disappointed we wasted all the time on that. Oh, I completely forgot to keep Gibraltar. Um, we, we meant to do that. I'm just going to... Just gonna go and do that. Someone's probably mentioned that in the comments on one of the other episodes. Like, you didn't even take Gibraltar. Nice, so we can fortify the rock. That's cool. Okay, the only thing we're short of now is tanks. So I feel like priority has to go back into them. Germany, can you please? Dualism Restored is gonna be happening very, very soon. Let's just chill. Is Muscat in any faction? No. Good. Good. What's the decision? Turn Spanish lands. No. <laughs> no. Yo, I'm actually so gutted by the bloody um, the Empire Act. Like we didn't even become the Imperial Federation. Like what the hell? I'm so excited for that. We have these divisions down here, like, for no reason. Ah, we'll put them in the fence, so we'll see what they can get up to. Hey, your service by requirement, extensive, scraping the barrel. You're not even in a faction with anyone. Um, all, oh, extensive conscription, extensive conscription, wow. Um, scrape the barrel, all adults serve, scraping the barrel, all adults serve. Well, 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 well. Um, Muscat's dead already, we've secured the Suez. Egypt. Egypt has joined the Entente. The Egyptians have agreed to our treaty. Egypt is now part of the Entente, and more importantly, control to, of the canal is now within our sphere of influence again, even if it is under Egyptian rule. Sweet. So, the Cairo Pact still exists, so we can't kill them. Uh, <laughs> fortify the rock. Singapore will will get. Don't worry, I'll be getting Singapore. I'll be getting it all right. The Thunderbolt, which we really do want to get into production. Yeah. Right, can I just see some really weak divisions popping up now? Okay, that's that's looking a little bit better. That is looking at a lot better considering how many divisions are in there. So you know you know they're bottling it. Just need to get a cut off somewhere. Okay. Percy. Percy mate. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to yourself? Don't get yourself injured. Oh my gosh, Austria's on Berlin's door. 
Dualism restored? Why haven't you, like, you know, popped? <laughs> that's, that's not the right word I was looking for there. Oh, 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 come on. Yes. That's what we wanted. Try and swing up. I think. Oh, that is a port. I was going to say, I don't think that's a port, but it is. Hello, all you gimps. How you doing? Oh, you can bet your ass reinforcements are here. How's a push on the whole front? Well, not great for fuel. That, that's for sure. Yellows, Spain. Use your divisions for good. <laughs> Help us push forwards. I'm sorry, Costa Rica died? Costa Rica died to who? the hell? What the... What are you doing? Costa Rican exiles. What's your gen... Oh my gosh, wow. Oh, baby. Come on. Come on. You guys know you want to go up to Lorraine and then up to Brest. Well, that wasn't exactly what we wanted to do, but yes, that's what we want. What's the two decisions? Nothing exciting. Okay, we're falling behind slightly. Um, we can take down Paris and then things are looking pretty goddamn good. They are holding this, which is a bit of a concern, but because the majority of the divisions don't actually belong in this front. Plus, there's 19 of them chilling there. Who's justifying on me? Saudi Arabia? Saudi Arabia, what are you doing? What are you doing, you fool? Equipment, we're fine. Tanks are just still short of tanks. I really just want to go to Paris and then we're going to just stop. I thought Austria had done dualism restored. Why aren't they... Why aren't they whole again? Defensive is still going. Are we in places? It's not going to. Are we in some other places? But we are starting to push forward over here, which is really all we would, we're interested in at this point. Oh, especially when the last port that remains is Brest. Get out of there, that's a counter. Why would you declare war in Georgia? Why would you do that? That is just so, you know. Okay, the Pope, we're not at war with the Pope, and he has the access to Sardinia Pedemont, so... Oh, hey! <laughs> right, we just need to take this port. Assault it with everything you got, boys. Which really isn't a lot. How's India doing? India. How have you lost the AOG? Like, how, how on earth have you lost? There are 105 divisions, you fool. How, I'm sorry. How's Germany East Asia got that many divisions? Just how? How? Like, did he even have enough man like manpower to do that? There's Paris, but we're not going to be flipping breaking that anytime soon. Yeah, the Germans are kind of holding their own now. Twenty divisions in there. I'm just hoping we can just break that down. We have oh, hi, Costa Rican division. Fantastic.
Oh, you haven't exactly pushed as well as I was hoping, but... Oh wait, we were attacking the capital there and winning. Hit Egypt. Oh, bugger. I'm sorry, Egypt, but I'm not going to be able to do anything for you, mate. Too busy trying to deal with this lot. Yeah, India's capitulated. Seriously? Like, they had so many divisions. How have they possibly lost that? Come on, tanks. I need you to do one massive push for me. I feel like the fall of Paris could kill French Kingdom, possibly. Maybe a little bit too optimistic. I need to make sure they're staying at bay. Do you know Stuff this. Do you know what? Let's go around. Oh, haha. -ha. Oh, my days. That is glorious. That's 34 divisions in there. That is what we like to see. Oh, yes. Egypt has opened up a new, whole new front. Uh, Middle Africa. It's halfway. What can we get up to now? We can't even push this way either. Oh. If we can cut off a Laharve. Can we do anything? Can we do anything? Come on. Denied. Deny them. Naval exercises. Fantastic. Just what I've always wanted. Britannia rules the waves. Oh my god, we've slipped in behind there. wasn't exactly all the plan, but it really has worked in our favour. Truck into El Harf. big push. We have left the gap in the line. Can someone please cover that? Right, I'm so really hoping we get them. Might have to change conscription so oh, conscription law soon. Welcome. What? Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Right, expand, let's do you. This really is a big blob of them, so. Only five German, not German, French divisions there. Actually, we're really throwing everything in here.
come on, Paris can be attacked by multiple angles now. I'm really hoping we can break it. Breaking anytime soon, sadly. Back on that bandwagon. Come on. I need you. Oh, I'm trying so hard to secure Paris at this point. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bust through elsewhere. So I'm thinking we push the north because right now it's looking a little bit shaky. It's not looking good for these boys in here actually. Oh, it really ain't looking good at this point. And I said that as soon as if the vision... Oh, thank you, France. You might actually be doing something useful for us. Right, we're now entering Fort Line territory. So, you know, things are going to be really hard here, that's for sure. Well, we got the cutoff that we're wanting, so these guys are screwed. Eleven divisions in there. Really? Surely the guys should be pretty much screwed, really. Or not. How many divisions? 23 divisions are in there. Holy hell. I'm going to try and punch for the bristles with the tanks. Why not at this point? Do you know, in fact, what I'm actually going to try and do with the tanks is... Break the north. How are you still? You, you surely it's going to flip in our odds, like our favor. They are completely surrounded. Brussels has actually been secured. We lose the vision. Get into them buggers there. Yeah, trying to push out was a terrible idea by both of you. Yes, thank you for choosing to be with us, but you are now going to die. Austria Hungary is still yet to form. How, many divisions, how have you still. Oh, I thought we were dying. I really thought they were dying. I'm going to 
push this back up for us, so they're gonna reinforce in the north now. Shame, because I'm gonna try and circle them. Oil's an issue. Um, trades. Pacific States. Give me as much as I can get from you. Well, that's not as much as I can get from them, but just all of that. Right, kill them. They need to die. We need to actually kill it in the offensive because we're running out of equipment and quick. How close this French puppet actually close to dying? Like, they were near. But, like, where's their cap? Oh, Paris is, like, falling. You guys are still holding on? Holy hell! There's 40 divisions in there! No wonder it wasn't falling. I'm completely for disregarding research. I'm just completely zoned out on that. Holy crap. Fear the unions. What do I really want to do? Free market. It's quite good. Oh, I really want free market, actually. Duchy of Normandy capitulated. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, yes. Still cannot breach Paris, though. No matter how hard we try. But the Germans are trying really hard to break us now, which is absolutely hilarious. Oh, I just want to secure Cherbourg. Oh, the Japanese Empire has died. Well, that's nice. Unlucky, Hirohito. You lost out. So I'm surprised Russia isn't just going straight to planning the war with them. Um... Oh, you guys are just doing an absolute solid. Thank you. Yeah, you've literally just abandoned Cherbourg. Oh my gosh, they're holding. Oh no, no they're not. Yeah, we have these divisions just sitting here. Come on, let's kill them. We we'll probably have to change conscription law soon. Yep, service by requirement. Yay! Oh, and that's is this has really made our job easier now on these guys. Thank you for dying. Finally reorganize the front. Right, thank heavens for that. There we go, reorganize yourselves. We need to sort this out. We need to get the plan ready. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that there. Now, I will have highly edited this episode just to get uh, the boring bits out of the way and just progress the... The war quickly because we've only got two more episodes planned for this and I'm really hoping Germany's gonna die and we can secure America before then. So thank you very much for watching. What have we got now? Oh more exile stuff. Anyways, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll be back very soon for some more. Take care. Cheer bye for the now.